Okay. Um, now, all right. So let's say we accept this. Okay. Let's say ex we accept this um, this understanding, this truth, this inescapable truth. Um, what does that mean? I mean, what would, would it mean to our world? Some people. Some people actually really understand the logic and the science of how free will is impossible, but they're hesitant, reluctant to accept it, in part, I guess, because sometimes we're, we're actually conditioned, very ironically, we're, we're conditioned by the causal past to actually take pride in our free will, you know, to, to actually believe we have one, and to kind of like not really want to relinquish it so easily. So, um... So that, that's part of the reason. Another part, another reason why people, you know, are very reluctant to, um, to kind of like live their lives, to, to kind of like maybe restructure our civilization, our society according to, um, to the truth of our human will, is because um, some people believe that if we, if, you know, if everybody understood that free will is an illusion and when everything is actually really faded, that we're kind of like, you know, I like to say that we're instruments of God, that basically we're just doing the will of God. Um, I tend to be religious, but you could, you know, a more secular way of saying it, that is we're, we're robots. We're like computers that are programmed <laughs> to act in certain ways, and that's what we do. And people say that, well, if, you know, if people understood that, then... Um, civilization would collapse because like people would say to themselves well well if i'm not responsible if i'm not morally morally responsible for anything then i can do anything you know and and you can't hold me accountable okay um we're not good <laughs> that's not something we have to fear because because um one of the ways nature has conditioned us is that we are hedonic creatures we seek pleasure and we avoid pain. Another kind of imperative, that's an imperative that incidentally just um, controls every decision we make. Um, a second imperative is that um, at the time we're doing anything, even though in hindsight or to others it may clearly seem wrong, but at the time we're doing anything, that is like what we consider to be the most moral of, of our choices, you know, the, the greatest of options, the, the lesser of, of two evils, whatever. 